The moment they arrived at the annex after leaving the main house, Garjith turned to ask Eugene a question. You, did you really duel with Cyan Lionheart and win? Yep. Garjith's eyes shook in surprise at this honest answer. He scanned Eugene from head to toe with a look of disbelief in his eyes. Are you done with your questions? Uh, yes. Then I can go, right? Eugene didn't wait for a reply. As he passed by the two, they turned to watch him leave with confused expressions. They were left wondering where he was going, and they saw him head for the nearby gymnasium instead of entering the annex. And since the night air was so refreshing, Eugene planned to swing his sword a few times. It was predicted that Garjith and Desra would only be competing against the children from the direct line. However, they found out that a bumpkin from a collateral line had appeared out of nowhere and dueled with Cyan Lionheart of the main family. He had even managed to defeat Cyan in a single blow to boot, catching the attention of the Lionheart head. But, Garjith and Desra were now staring at him from a distance. Now, what are they up to? Then, Garjith began striding up to him. Eugene observed him wordlessly. Without any hesitation, Garjith pulled off his top and tossed it aside. Garjith proceeded to take a big gulp of air and flexed his chest, showing off his broad muscles and the twitching abs below. His body showed an unbelievable level of muscle development for a 14-year-old. Not only that, his entire body was also covered in small scars. Without saying a word, Eugene continued to stare at Garjith. What the frack? Is he an idiot? While putting on an air of arrogance, Garjith pounded his chest muscles and asked, Want a touch? No, thanks I am good. Eugene had just been wondering to himself, what is that bastard up to? But as he stared at Garjith, Eugene realized that Garjith seemed to have fallen into some kind of stupid delusion that they were competing with their muscles. With a disappointed expression, Garjith said, we made this drug with the help of a famous alchemist from Arath. If someone hasn't accumulated any mana in their body, the drug promotes their muscle growth when taken alongside training. Any interest in trying it? None. There is a limit to the amount of muscle that can be developed with basic training. Ours doesn't come with any side effects. Oh. Just look at me. As if there are no side effects. Where do you get off with your lies? Desra shouted. About that drug. Once you take it, you start growing facial hair even on a woman as well. Desra glared at Eugene. You, I heard that you used a spear during your duel with Cyan. Why are you using a wooden sword now? I can use both a spear and a sword. That's ridiculous. You can use both interchangeably and through self-study at that. Take this, she said, thrusting one of the spears into his hands. I am a spear specialist. Just swinging your sword isn't any fun. So why don't you spar with me? You should use a spear as well since I'll be using a spear. Fine. Eugene preferred Desra over Garjith, who kept saying this and that about his muscles. Moreover, he was curious about the skills of these children, who were considered elites among the collateral lines. The two children were soon standing across from each other, holding their spears at the ready. Garjith stood in the center, still topless. What are you doing? I thought I'd serve as the judge. What kind of spar needs a judge? Spars should also be fair. This bastard. His actions keep reminding me of a certain fool. If his last name wasn't Lionheart, Eugene would have seriously suspected that Garjith was descended from Molin instead of Vermouth. You may begin as soon as I call start. Garjith announced. Just hurry it up already, idiot. As commanded, Garjith dropped his raised arms with a quick leap backward. Start! Although Eugene had ended his confrontation with Cyan in a single blow, he had no intention of doing the same thing this time, as he wanted to see Desra full range of skills. Desra moved in, trying to find a gap in Eugene's defenses. Eugene held his spear in both hands and refused to move from the spot. However, the spearhead alone showed slight signs of motion as it traced Desra movements. Ugh. Desra eyes twitched in frustration. Although she was pretty confident in her spearmanship, there are no gaps. She couldn't see any cracks in Eugene's defenses. Eugene mocked her and as such, Desra boldly stepped forward. The distance between the two was shortened in an instant. 
A slight movement from Eugene's spearhead sent Desra's spear flying to the side. At that moment, Desra rotated her body along with the movement of the spear. The tip of her spear thus swung around in a circle and once again sped towards Eugene. However, the result was the same as before. As her second attack was blown away, Desra's eyes wavered. Ha! Desra wailed on Eugene with a barrage of swift attacks. She tensed her arms as she thrust with her spear, thrust forward, withdraw, and thrust forward once more. She knows how to incorporate rotation, and she even knows how to make use of recoil and momentum, Eugene observed. If you considered that she couldn't use mana, it was a pretty impressive performance. She still wasn't a worthy opponent for Eugene's. Desra purposefully lowered her grip on the length of her spear to extend the spear's attack range for a single blow. The attack slashed down on Eugene, twisting his body to the side. With a smile, Eugene mocked her again. Are you making fun of me? Frustrated from this, Desra charged at Eugene. After parrying for so long Desra took the chance swiftly charged at Eugene from the back. The moment her spear had gotten close to the ground, Eugene stepped on top of it. Why is he so heavy? Desra trying to extract her trapped spear with all her might, but no matter how much strength she used, the spear wouldn't budge, even though he was only stepping on it with one foot. At that same moment, he thrust his spear. She flinched as the spear flew towards her face. The spear stopped right before it could touch the tip of Desra's nose. Garjith, who had been standing by as a judge, put on a serious expression and said, Eugene Lionheart is victorious.